What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Captain Price with Captain Price Reacts, and today we gonna be watching. Ah, I just hit my arm. <laughs> McQueen, how to get baddies numbers by no Karen, not Karen. I said no Karen. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I said like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's go ahead and get into this video. We're gonna keep it rated PG because my daughter in here, y'all. Thick light skin girl over there by the end of the ball. Like, you know what? I've been trying to find ways to provide more value for you guys. Queen. It's okay. But yeah, it's kind of like breezing over there. Inspired you guys. Yes, I've made you guys laugh over the years and this and that. But you know what? We're about to hit million subscribers and I want to take the content to a new level. I thought the best way for me to do that is to show you guys exactly how you get the voter. Now, there's a lot of bad girls in Miami, you know, they get a bunch of attention. So, I'm gonna show you guys one of the most effective ways. It's called the I don't give a damn method. Queen, what's that I don't give a damn method? Well, it's pretty much you pick up a girl by showing her that you don't care. Now, I don't want the girl to walk away, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys if it works, then you guys will see the video. If it doesn't work, hey, you're not gonna get this video. So, let's go see. <laughs> Clearly, it worked because we got the video. Excuse me. I just wanted to come over here and say I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a nice day, okay? Wait, what's your name? Huh? Really, McQueen? Wait. Not the super su scripted. What's your name? McQueen. Oh, yeah, my, my name's McQueen. Hold on a second. My bad. Miss Bella, watch your stuff. I'm going to kick you out. Want to know why that worked? Because the moment I sat there and I told her, hey, I just think you're very beautiful. She was like, oh, okay, thank you. And I just walk away. In her mind, I'm already coming off so different from all the other niggas that approach her. Why? Because so many niggas come off thirsty. Most niggas would approach and be like, hey, I think you're very beautiful. I need your number. Give me your number with the whoop. A typical nigga approach. Hey, what's up, mom? With the whoop, just being super thirsty. And then a nigga like me comes along and I say, hey, I just think you're very beautiful. Have a nice day. Her mind is going Analyzing. I'm going to analyze this whole situation for y'all. In reality, you say something, like give a woman a compliment or something, and then walk away, it's going to be up here. It's going to be in their brain. You know, so at the end of the day, what he's saying, it, it, you could tell that was scripted. But what he's saying isn't so wrong, but it's going to be in their brain. They might, it might it's, a, it's a slim chance they might try to say something to you. You know, you're giving a woman a compliment, and that really caring to about their number, it really doesn't, it it really make them think like, wow, he got to be different. Only people that are genuine men that really are different can do that. Why? Because notice how her demeanor was when I said, hey, you're very beautiful. It was kind of standoffish. So you know, say, oh, thank you. And then I just walk away. Now in her mind, she's thinking, wait a minute, a, a guy just came up and approached me and just said, hey, I'm very beautiful and just walked away? What the fuck? Am I not oh, yeah, and P.S. P.S. This is another thing. He might not be that very interested in you. He just seen you look nice, and he probably just want to give you a compliment. That's for the ladies. What's going on with me? No, 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 hey, stop. Understand that you as a nigga, you as the king, you are the king, Uncle Force. The most powerful thing a nigga can have is the ability to walk away and not care whether or not they get the bitch. Women love what they can't have. All these students think they're bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes along, like me, and says, hey, I think you're very beautiful, and constantly is able to walk. And you, and you know why? You know why? Even the ugly ones even think they bad. You know why they think they bad? It's because so many dudes that went smack at them, they think that. They think they, but don't, don't believe it. It's, I'll be honest with you, when you, when a dude is single or they're a player, they got rosters, rosters. Like, I got my bad one, I got my, my gorgeous one, I got my current one, my using one, my gold digger one. All it's, it's it's a whole. A lot of men got different categories. Some got three on their roster. Some got five on their roster. Some got ten on their roster. Some got a hundred on their roster. Some got a million on their roster. You don't know not a million, but you get the gist. In her mind, she's thinking, wait a minute, am I not, am I not a bad bitch? I'm telling you right now, the way women think is they love what they can't have. And me displaying that right now by being able to walk away, for one, it shows confidence. That's the most attractive thing for a woman. Two, it shows her that I don't care whether or not she's in my life or not. And that is very, very rare to these bitches. 
Very rare, and you always want to be the rare one. So right now in her mind, she's confused. That's why she stopped. I just, I, I felt like you were on your break or something. I don't know what you was doing, so I didn't want to like take a look at your time. I just want to say I did it you. Yeah, how are you? I'm good, are you? I'm good. You know what I'm saying with you? You work at Hooters, obviously, right? Yes. Yeah? I'm so. Okay, well, you, you on your break? Yeah. Yeah? My fault, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, so I just be recording my experiences and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Baby girl, you need to do some more thigh, ev thigh exercises. You look sloppy. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You look kind of sloppy on the bottom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. I couldn't help but notice your ass cheeks were kind of pressed over. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The little legs right here. Call the bitch out. Call her out. Girls are always walking around with their cheeks out. What is this? How to get a girl one on one? one, -on -one? Right? Call her out. Most <laughs> men are afraid to do that. They're not walking around like that for no reason. Don't ever let a girl confuse you on that. Oh my God, McQueen, she's just wearing work clothes. It doesn't matter. If you were wearing your work clothes and you didn't want to be seen out in public, then you could have just stayed inside the back room and just stayed out the way, stayed out of public because you weren't trying to get attention. If she really didn't want attention, she would wear a jacket or something to cover it up. So on her break, she's walking around the pub with her cheeks out like this. So call her out. It shows confidence. A lot of niggas won't say shit like this because they're afraid that they're going to offend the girl. So when you say shit like this, it shows that you're not afraid if she walks away. You know, you just, I had to say something. But like I said, I didn't know. I know you probably get approached a lot. I'm new in Miami, you know, and I know a lot of the girls get a lot of attention over here. So I didn't really want to, I didn't want to come off like I was pressing you or I was trying to like be thirsty, you know? So I just came, I just wanted to give you a compliment and go about my day, you know? But since you, you know, since we're here, Seems it's obvious that you're interested. You know what I'm saying? Or she wouldn't be talking to me, right? Sure, yeah, shut up, bitch. And now in her mind, she's thrown off because she's just like, wait a minute, I just stopped the guy. This has never happened to me. Usually guys have to stop me and they have to initiate everything. Now she's trying to play the reserved part again, talking about, sure, yeah, because she doesn't want to come off too thirsty. It's too late, bitch. Right. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what do you, is this what you do full time? Or, like, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, for sure. You like comedians? I do. You do? You're a funny guy? I, I'm a funny ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? If I do say so myself, you know? You, you like you like light skins? <laughs> sure, I don't complain. Don't okay, for sure. You like big penises? <laughs> yes. <laughs> See how right there I say you like big penises? The reason why I say that this is all calculated, Uncle Ford. A lot of guys are afraid to be their true selves when they're around women. And women can smell that. They can smell it. The jokes that you make when you're around the homies, you know, all that extra wild stuff that we be talking about in private. Don't be afraid Wait, to say, say that to a person woman in person because one like I be said, trying to it. And most importantly, it shows that you do not care. care. Because I could have easily said that she could have got offended and walked away. And the fact that I say it comfortably shows that I don't care if she walked Obviously, don't say anything. Speak what's on your mind. Don't just, oh yeah, like if you see something that, that you want and you want it hard, speak what's on your mind. Don't be scared. Don't be scared at all. Speak what's on your mind. She might reject you. You might get a slap. You, it's like a. You you might get a slap. I'm not gonna lie. If you say the wrong thing. She might slap the dog mess out of you. So don't be don't be afraid though. Don't be afraid cuz by you being being blunt, that means oh yeah. He's up there. You get what I'm saying? She she feels the okay. He's not a sucker. He he You get what I'm saying? Wow, read the room. I noticed that she was feeling me. And the initial tone I said was, I don't care because I was able to walk away. So you want to make sure you keep that same energy throughout the entire interaction and the entire time that you know her. You switch them at any moment, start reverting back to bitch mode, she's going to sense it, and then you're done. Hey, man, you like that green? You need to get you some Delta Munchies. They got them animals. They got the pins. They got the doinks. And the <laughs> no, I mean, I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to hit you with something that most men don't say. Because, you know, it's, it's typical. Most men come up to you and they give you the typical, hey, mom, what you doing? How you doing? Who is that? Just cat calling and all that extra shit, right? That shit don't work. Have you ever seen that work? So I, I, I thought I had some water on my face. I was wiping my face and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? That never works. You know I mean? So I got to throw something out that's risky. You know what I'm saying? It makes you makes, it makes your mind work. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. And that's why I got you to laugh. Because you ain't never, you, that threw you off guard. No niggas ain't got the balls to say that shit. How long are you working till today? Today? Mm -hmm. Probably like 8. 8 o'clock? Okay, for sure. Trying to do something? I am, yeah. yeah. I asked that's going to be my next question. <laughs> Whereas, you know, first of all, let me get you. Some steps ahead of you. Yeah, you are. You know, that's good, though. That means you're fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? I must have said something right. Uh, I could get your number? Sure. Yeah, for sure. It's a nice, beautiful ass day, huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Black. Black? Okay, cool. You like, oh, you like yeah. black. How black? Because, you know, I only got I only go to a certain skin tone, baby. You f with light skins, we already got past that border already. Right. right. Yeah, okay, for sure. How old are you? 31. 31? Oh, for real? What the f was that? <laughs> Bro, what the f did a, a, a whole lizard just fell out of the fucking tree? <laughs> This is look at this nigga, bro. Oh my god, these niggas are so weird. Can you see him? Yeah, you can see that bitch ass nigga. F that nigga, man. This is the most Florida shit. <laughs> man, what the hell, man? We don't gotta worry about it. Man. I'm from Cali. We ain't gotta worry about reptiles falling out of the trees. What time do you go back? Like a few minutes or some shit? Okay. Well, listen, you said eight o'clock, you're free? Yeah. Alright, so how about 9 30? That was a cue. I'm gonna take you a nice I can little feel day. It. Oh, by the end of the video, I can go. Do you drink? Um, she said, of course. Okay. Or, or what are, are you black? I'm Dominican. Oh, you're Dominican? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, for sure. Yeah, that, that explains the ass cheeks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, listen to me. Uh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Shayla. Shayla, what was my name? McQueen. McQueen, nice to meet you. All right. Well, listen to me, Shayla. It was nice to meet you. I'm going to hit you up. You have a nice day, and I'll see you later on at night, okay? Okay, you have a nice day. All right. It's just like that. It's just like that, man. Be comedic. You show that you don't really care. You take risks, because it also shows that you don't care if she doesn't like the risk. Easy bag, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you have your hair. Smackdown. So if y'all new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I see y'all in the next video.